So today we are talking about the Witch's Pyramid. So I decided to kind of compare this to a few different sources. So we're going to go over everyone's information first, and then we will talk about my own. From Penzac in this book. Then we have To Dare, which is air. You dare to actually do the magic and follow up with action. Have faith that it will manifest. Belief that it is possible. Logic, mind, communication, creativity, and the mind. So then the next book that I compared it to is one that I always have kind of referred back to. It's one that I tried to go through in 2019, which was the Wicca A Year in a Day book. And I didn't finish going through that book, but it did have some good stuff. It had some weird stuff. So this one had two points for each of the, you know, five points, basically. And it was an outwards expression and an inwards expression of both. And you wanted to keep balance between both for each one. And I thought that was a really cool concept. And they also just included it more with the elements as a whole, which I thought was interesting. And also like, sure. So then we have the power to dare. Water does not recognize formal boundaries. Go beyond human constructed, socially accepted and institutionalized boundaries. Dreams, visions, empathy, compassion, understanding cycles and lunar mysteries when it's out of balance. You might be weepy, sad, depressed, fixed on the past, brooding, secretive, emotionally reactive, inappropriately empathetic. And then you've got the power to accept, which is the inwards expression of water. The heart of magical accepting is defining and honoring boundaries. Power of the cup, chalice, and cauldron that holds and gives shape to water. Grounding yourself, which I thought was interesting. Grounding I usually associate with earth, not water. Fully knowing where you are right now and determining how to get where you'd like to go. Accepting life as it is. Power in acknowledging the whole truth of your life, pleasant and unpleasant. Taking effective action in your life that can lead to significant change. Once you are aware, such as being overdrawn at the bank or recognizing sadness, you can define the parameters of your existence and take meaningful steps in any direction you like. Without accepting, you become dangerously paralyzed and ineffective. You do not see that you are soaked by rainwater or baked in the summer sun. When it's out of balance, you've got rigid, hyper alert, self-deprecating, demanding of boundaries, needing of high structure and order, only being able to relate to what can be defined. Then we have the Witch's Pyramid from Silver Ravenwolf slash Tiptoe Chick. So I didn't want to go find my copy of that book and go through it. I've done it before. I know I've got notes on it somewhere, but Tiptoe Chick was literally right reading and referencing from the book. So I'm kind of combining the two to dare. You have pushed fear behind you and you will be courageous and proactive in all that you do. You will believe in yourself, have faith in the universe and your own abilities, self-confidence, don't judge, respect, and initial respect. Because obviously some people, you know, they don't deserve it, but give it to them initially and then if they've proven that they don't deserve it then you can take it away so that was all of the notes that i've taken from everywhere else so this is my thoughts to dare it's water acknowledge emotions but do not let them hold you back faith in yourself and in your craft awareness and action